I'm Ella Kilgower. I'm a visual artist. I work mostly in oil on canvas, um, but artwork on paper is also an important part of my practice. I do a lot of sketching, working in pencil and charcoal, and also like working in, in ink on paper. And moving between the two mediums and different mediums is something that I find very helpful to do. Um, particularly the artwork on paper helps to keep my work looser and fresher. Um, my pathway to becoming an artist was not a very straightforward one. I studied industrial design at university and it was quite a, um, an engin engineering led degree. And I went on to do an MA at the Royal College of Art but I didn't pursue that as a career. I think because even back then I wasn't feeling really like I was filling my boots in that it didn't feel completely comfortable to me. And I started working in digital illustration and I had a number of different jobs in London, working in publishing, always something related to graphic design and drawing and I spent some time as a medical illustrator. Um, from there, I think in about 2009, I moved out to Australia and I made a commitment to myself at that point not to return to working at the computer. I wanted to be working with my hands again. And I started working as a picture framer and I absolutely loved being back in a workshop again and working with my hands and using that kind of direct brain hand connection. Um, and I was working in galleries and I became, that's how I became interested in painting. Um, I was surrounded by a lot of people talking about painting and I was surrounded by a lot of artists and I realised that I enjoyed that language, that I felt that I understood that language and um, I wanted to start talking in that language. I was lucky enough that I was working with a very good friend at the time who was a, a very talented painter and she took a bit of time to kind of set me up and taught me some basics and we would set up um, still lives and get models and, and paint from life together. So although I consider myself in some ways self-taught, I was very lucky in having that initial kind of backup of, of a mentor to get me started. And that was back in 2016 and I started taking portraits and from there I started taking portrait commissions and I have not stopped painting since that point in time. Your work has a very strong distinctive imagery, how have you arrived at that? I think um, it's the clashing of a number of different influences. I am very drawn to historical portraits. I, I have been for but forever actually very interested in, in art history and old paintings. And that, that often makes the starting point for one of my paintings, but then layered over the top are a number of other influences coming in. I'm drawn to paint things which I think are either touching um, or funny. And I like that kind of collision of something that I think is beautiful and elegant with something that is kind of a bit more pedestrian or, or even, even childish. Um, and I think that's how that particular style has, has evolved. And what would you ask of the viewer who comes to see a collection of your work? What would you be hoping that they would be able to identify with? That's, 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 a, that's a good question. I, I like that question because I feel like I can answer that very easily. I, I know that I am, I am reaching for something. In all of the works, I, I am always reaching for a feeling and I am hoping that I am going to ignite that feeling of wonder and to be drawn in someone to come up close to the work and feel like they are they have a window into another world i i i love that that paintings that drawings have the power to do that to us um, and i think it's a very strong feeling in childhood for most of us um, being drawn into to picture books and how just that still image can 
can set off so much in, in the mind. Um, so I hope that I am drawing somebody in. I hope that I am taking them, giving them sense of that kind of a sense of that otherworldliness. And also I hope, I hope a sense of transcendence, like a sense of beauty. But I like to combine that with something that is very human and um, sometimes something that can be like a bit daft or a bit offbeat. Um, I like to express both things at the same time. Thank you, that's great.